So guys, welcome back to another episode of Freewheeling. I am Dr. Dave Nichol, and this is the veterinary show that answers your business questions. Uh, I'm coming to you from South Africa today, and it's really cool, really old school um, hotel. Let me pan round here. I have no Emma or anyone else on me today, um, but in Johannesburg, I'm speaking with the IVPD and I had an absolute ball with these guys today. So thank you to them for hosting me. Now, question I got asked, like a lot of questions coming in. I got asked a brilliant question by one of, one of the final year vet students from Undersports Vet School today in Pretoria. And she came up to me after the talks and asked me one question. It was the best question of the day, actually. She said, I'm interested in business. I know one day I want to go into business. How will I know when the time is right to do it? I think that's such a question. It resonated a lot with me because I think I waited a little bit too long to go into business for myself. And so I had a really straight answer for her and it was simple, it was just this. Um, if you wait until you feel like you're completely ready, you're never going to do it because, and here's the thing, this is the whole imposter syndrome thing happening there, a phrase I hate with a passion, because imposter syndrome, as it's now been dubbed, is actually just the feeling you get when you move from a state of unconscious incompetence into conscious incompetence, and you realize you're not really quite ready to do what you're doing. And that's actually what we call the growth phase of learning. It's a super important place for us to be, and you, you know that's where you really need to be if you're going to expand your skill set and get better. So if you wait until you absolutely feel ready, you're going to be waiting a long time because you're never ever going to feel 100% ready. So don't put it off. So my answer to this uh, this young uh, entrepreneurial-minded uh, veterinary surgeon here in South Africa was just this: map out the core skills that you really need in order to cut it as a veterinarian and a business owner. So what are those? Well, let's, let's just give you some headline information there. I think you're gonna divide these into leadership skills and then clinical skills, okay? So leadership and technical skills. Leadership skills, so learn to become self-aware, uh, learn the toolkit of leadership, um, learn how to manage other people, learn how to manage your emotions, learn how to manage yourself, that's all stuff that you can learn along the way, okay? And that will certainly take time. When you're at university, you're obviously gonna learn the basics that get you to the start line of getting your veterinary degree, but they don't teach you an awful lot beyond that. So in your first probably three to five years, and I seriously don't recommend you jump in sooner than that, because that's how long it's gonna take you to become a decent surgeon, to become a decent diagnostician, to become a decent medic, um, to become a decent dentist. Like if you put all these things together, alongside the soft skills of learning how to communicate and, and work with clients, uh, then that is gonna take you minimum of three and more likely five years. And so I think you're massively improving your odds of success if you get those skills under your belt before you jump. Will you feel ready to take the plunge at that point? Hell no, absolutely not. Uh, but will you be equipped that you can deal with the stuff that life throws at you if you've married up your clinical skills with some leadership skills, well, absolutely. And there's one other thing I recommend everybody does if they're gonna take the sleep, is get yourself a mentor or a coach that can help you ride the rapids along the way. So that's it, it's a pretty short lesson for today. It was an absolutely brilliant question and uh, you know, I had a great time for the last three days speaking over here, looking forward to some safari. Um, so please, uh, if you've got more questions, send them in to me. Absolutely loving the questions, loving the chance to engage with you guys, uh, and would love to hear more from you. That's it for me for today. So from Johannesburg, be safe, be well, be happy. Dr. Dave, out.